Today we are installing a display driver for Windows 98. With the default driver, Windows 98 is capable of displaying 16 colors at a resolution of 800 by 600. So we'll need to boot up the virtual machine and mount the disk image for our display driver. Once that is mounted, we can navigate to my computer and launch the installer. Nothing of note through the installer. I scroll to the bottom of the agreement before accepting and I choose the custom option. Now we need to restart the computer. Next step is to register SciTech. The name and key are usually included on the disk image with the installer package. Now that SciTech is registered, we get to restart again. After the restart, we can install the monitor and display driver. Click on Properties at the left-hand side of the window. Then click the red link below Monitor. I am going to go with Super VGA 1600 by 1200. Next, click on Display Driver at the bottom of the window. From here, click on Standard PCI Graphics Adapter. Click the radio button next to SciTech Nucleus Driver. And time to restart again. Next step is to change the display settings to 256 colors and 1024 by 768 resolution. Then restart again. Now we get to go back to the display properties and select true color and a higher resolution, which I eventually settled on 1152 by 864. One last restart. Two items left to do. First, we want to run the optimize wizard from SciTech. The two options to be aware of are to keep current mode, we want that selected, and we also want to select continue without centering. Second, we want to go to msconfig and disable the SciTech updater on startup. The Windows protection error after installing the SciTech display driver in Windows 98. The short explanation is, Windows 98 doesn't like the processor I have in my PC. Well, I don't have another processor on hand that I can swap in, so let's see what else we can do. Thankfully, VirtualBox can substitute the processor for me. We will need to open the command prompt in the VirtualBox installation folder, then enter this command. I will also have this down in the description with a few processors you can try. No confirmation at the prompt is a good thing. Now to launch VirtualBox. We finally have true color and high resolution in Windows 98. Thanks for stopping by. See you next video.